Hello there, welcome to CXC Math TV. Today we will be looking at Remainder Theorem. So you're probably wondering what is this Remainder Theorem? And what is Remainder Theorem going to involve? It's going to involve polynomial division. You're probably saying what? Well, let's just backtrack a little bit. Now, in order to go through polynomial division, we always like to review long division. So let's say you were asked to divide 177 by 5. Now we'd start by saying 5 into 1 goes 0 times, 5 times 0 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, then we bring down the 7, 5 into 17 goes 3 times, 5 times 3 is 15, we subtract, 17 minus 15 is 2, bring down the next 7, 5 into 27 goes 5 times, 5 times 5 is 25, then we subtract, the remainder is 2. So we say 177 divided by 5 is 35 and 2 over 5. Now the rules of long division are we divide, multiply, take away and then bring down. Now we call the 177 the dividend, we call the 5 the divisor, and most importantly we call that number 2 right there, the remainder so the 35 and the 2 over 5 we'll call the 2 the remainder right so when 177 is divided by 2 it leaves a remainder of 2 now in polynomial division let's consider this function right here f of x equal to x squared minus 7x plus 10 let's divide it by f of x by x minus 3 right if we divide x squared minus 7x plus 10 by x minus 3, x into x squared leave x, x times x is x squared, x times minus 3 is minus 3x, and so we subtract, and then minus 7x minus minus 3x leaves minus 4x, that will bring down plus 10. Now x into minus 4x goes negative 4, negative 4 times x is minus 4x, Minus 4 times minus 3 is plus 12, then we we'll subtract, and so the remainder is negative 2. So to rewrite it in the form that we know, the dividend divided by the divisor is equal to the quotient of x minus 4 plus the remainder negative 2 over x minus 3. Now look at this right here. Using the remainder theorem, look what we're going to do. What if you were to just plug 3 into the function f of 3? That would be 3 squared minus 7 times 3 plus 10, which works out to be 9 minus 21 plus 10, which is negative 2, the same remainder. So what is remainder theorem? Without having to do all of that long division, this is remainder theorem. If f of x is a polynomial function and we divide it by some factor x minus a, it's going to leave a remainder r, then f of a is equal to r. We can write this as whenever you have the function divided by x minus a, the result is q of x, the quotient, plus r over x minus a, where r is the remainder. Alright, so all we need to remember is, if you divide a function by x minus a and it leaves a remainder of r, then f of a is equal to r. That's it for the remainder theorem. Before we do an example, let's look at when do we use remainder theorem. We use remainder theorem when we need to find unknown values of a function given the remainder when it is divided by some factor. For example, find the remainder when f of x equal x to the fifth minus 4x cubed plus 2x plus 3 is divided by x plus 2. So to find the remainder, first we need to rewrite the factor x plus 2 as x minus minus 2. And so if you look at it, it's now in the form x minus a. So now we can input x as negative 2. So f of negative 2 is negative 2 to the 5th minus 4 times negative 2 cubed plus 2 times negative 2 plus 3. That works out to be negative 32 plus 32 minus 4 plus 3, which is negative 1. So the remainder is negative 1 when the function is divided by x plus 2. Now pause the video and attempt this question. Find the remainder when f of x is 4x cubed minus 6x plus 5 
is divided by 2x plus 1. Now as you pause and attempt, the first thing is we need to put it in the form x minus a. So we rewrite it in that form by factoring out a 2 and then break up the plus as minus minus. And so we have 2 in bracket x minus minus a half. Close up that bracket. And so we're going to put x as negative a half. That is now our a. So f of negative a half is 4 times negative a half cube minus 6 times negative a half plus 5 which is negative a half plus 3 plus 5, which is 15 over 2. So the remainder when f of x is divided by 2x plus 1 is 15 over 2. Now look at this question right here. Given f of x is 2x cubed minus kx squared plus 4x plus 3, and when divided by x minus 1 leaves a remainder of 4, find the value of k. How are we going to do this? Hmm. Now the first thing is x minus 1, that is telling us our a value is 1. So we're going to plug in f of a is equal to our remainder and our remainder is 4. So f of 1 equal to 4. So we need to find f of 1, that's 2 times 1 cubed, minus k times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus 3, which works out to be 2 minus k plus 4 plus 3, and that's equal to 4. And so when we transpose it, we get k equal to 5. And so that's the value of k, k equal 5. Now let's look at this example here. It says, it is known that a factor of f of x is x minus 2. And when the function is divided by x plus 2, it leaves a remainder of 12. It is given that f of x is ax cubed plus 9x squared minus 11x plus b. Prove that a is 2 and b is negative 30. Now look at that. Pause the video and attempt to do this question. Now to do this question, we start by writing down our f of x, which is ax cubed plus 9x squared minus 11x plus b. Now it says if x minus 2 is a factor, then we know that f of 2 is 0. That part is factor theorem. Yes, they love to mix factor theorem and remainder theorem. So now we can input the x value as 2. a times 2 cubed plus 9 times 2 square minus 11 times 2 plus b is equal to 0. Since f of 2 is 0. That will simplify to be 8a plus 36 minus 22 plus b is 0. And so 8a plus b is negative 14. Let's call that equation 1. Now since x plus 2 leaves a remainder of 12, then we know that f of negative 2 must be equal to 12 by remainder theorem. And so a times negative 2 cubed plus 9 times negative 2 square minus 11 times negative 2 plus b is 12. So if we simplify, that is now minus 8a plus 36 plus 22 plus b equal 12. And so minus 8a plus b is negative 46. Let's call that equation 2. Now from equation 1 and equation 2, let's add 1 and 2. That will give us the, the 8a plus minus 8a gone. b plus b is 2b. Negative 14 plus negative 46. That's negative 60. So 2b is negative 60. And so b is negative 30 when we divide through by 2. Now, 8a minus 30 is negative 14. So if we bring over the 30, that becomes 8a equals 16. And we divide through by 8. And so a equals 2. So look at it. We got b to be negative 30 and a to be 2. And so we did the proof of this question. Easy. So any takeaways? We just need to remember the remainder theorem. If f of x is a polynomial function and we divide it by some factor x minus a and it leaves a remainder of r, then f of a equal to r. We can also rewrite that f of x over the divisor that's equal to some quotient plus the remainder over x minus a. You must remember that and it is that easy. Alright, so stay tuned to CXC Math TV. That's it for today. See you next time and have a blessed day.